Would I be the butthole for asking my fiancé to remove someone as a bridesmaid because of something she said while inebriated? Posted by Lama Thrustolti. I am lucky enough to be engaged to the woman of my dreams. She's perfect in every way and the wedding is currently scheduled for next June. Right now, along with my fiancé, I have a very close friend living with us. She was my roommate in college and basically family. Five months ago, she found out she was pregnant when she was told her entire life it was impossible for her to have kids. She was ecstatic but her boyfriend, in case it comes up he was also my roommate and basically family, wasn't and begged her to have a pregnancy termination. Basically, she thought she'd never have another chance but they were absolutely not in any position to raise a kid at the moment. Their relationship got very strained and she ended up having a miscarriage. One week after, she found out her boyfriend was having an emotional affair with a co-worker. They broke up and she ended up also getting into a massive fight with her family. Obviously, I moved her into my place ASAP and while she was definitely struggling for a while, I am glad to say she seems to be slowly healing. A few nights ago, my fiancé had some of her friends over, all of which are bridesmaids. My friend joined them and all of them ended up getting pretty drunk. My fiancé falls asleep pretty fast when she's drunk so I carried her up to our room and tucked her in so I could take care of everyone else. My friend at that point had started drinking really heavily and looked kind of sick, so I walked her up to her bathroom and held her hair for about 20 minutes while she puked. When I figured she had enough out of her system I left her to go check on the other girls and get them home. I was walking down the steps and heard one of her friends make a comment about me helping my friend up because I wanted to get in her pants. The other girls around her immediately told her off, they're all aware of my friend's situation by the way, and I just stood obstructed on the stairway trembling in anger. I managed to calm down temporarily, come down and send them all home in Ubers. I had offered to drive them before but in all honesty I felt so angry I did not want to be in that position. Three days later and I am still angry. I genuinely don't ever want to be in the same room as this woman ever again let alone have her eight feet away as I say my vows. I haven't told my fiancé any of this yet, but I was planning to do so tomorrow as well as request her friend at least be removed from having a role if not flat out, be uninvited to the wedding. So would I be the butthole for asking to remove her for something she said when she was drunk? Edit. Quite a few comments on this, now I want to address a few points. 1. First, my fiancé and her friends do not have problems with alcohol. My girl is a lightweight and none of her friends were blackout drunk or anything that far. The only person who puked was my friend. Passing out because you drank too much and falling asleep after having a couple drinks are two entirely different things. Okay, I really gotta spell it out here because this is getting effing ridiculous. Every girl not living in my house had 3-4 drinks that night. Enough that none of them were getting behind the wheel but not enough that they were all massively hammered and completely out of control. My fiancé had maybe 3 drinks and fell asleep 30 minutes after. Not passed out, not blacked out, just fell asleep. My friend was the only one who drank heavily, easily the equivalent of six, maybe a couple more at most. 2. At absolutely no point have I ever indicated I was going to take action or demand, my particular wording was request above, not demand, before talking to my fiancé about the whole story and the issue. I now intend to talk to the bridesmaid as well before I request anything. 3. I understand I am being a little overly sensitive. The reality is this whole situation has been harsh and crappy for everyone involved. In particular, I know I've been very defensive of my friend given her current situation with her family, and it is entirely possible some of this anger towards bridesmaid was redirected from things my friend's sisters have said and done to her in recent history. All this being said, there is absolutely positively nothing more between me and my friend besides a deeply platonic relationship. I do not have romantic ex-well feelings to my friend at all. Nor am I insecure about society telling me I can't have women friends without wanting to sleep with them. I am just worried about my friend who's still in a pretty bad place and feel like very insulted, someone would insinuate I would be taking advantage of her in such a state. 4. She has not been living with us for 5 months. She found out she was pregnant 5 months ago. Her miscarriage happened approximately 2 months and she moved into my place about 2 weeks after that. And now to the update. So after I posted last time it became pretty clear that regardless of if I was overreacting or not, I had to talk to my fiancé immediately. So I went to talk to my fiancé about what I heard and it turns out she knew about what was said literally the morning after. 
The whole friend group pulled up the bridesmaid who really had Jay set intended to make a crass joke, and was actually unaware of most of my friend's predicament. No one knew I heard it, so she only ended up apologizing to my fiancé and telling her she legitimately didn't mean offense, nor thought in any way I was cheating on her. I told my fiancé everything, showed her the post, told her how it felt to be accused like that, and long story short, she got the friend to come over Asa. There were a ton of apologies going around, I admit I overreacted to a comment and took it to mean the absolute worst way possible. Didn't make the comment in any way not horrible, and she did apologize profusely for how it came across. By the end of it, we were all good. I thought that would be it but bridesmaid and the rest of the group actually went significant steps forward. My friend will hang out with people who come over but in all honesty she doesn't leave the house, not that I blame her. The bridesmaid has taken charge along with the rest of the group and they've all made surprise plans for them, and my friend to do things my fiancé thinks everyone especially my friend will enjoy. In all honesty I felt very slighted the past half week. I wasn't sure how this situation would be resolved in a way that I'd be able to forgive this person for what they've said. But taking her own time and money to make someone I care about who's suffering feel better is so much better than anything I could have imagined. Also she brought cookies and being angry and holding on to anger makes you really hungry. So yeah, we're incredibly square. Thank you to those who legitimately criticized me. Edit, just realized I technically never said it. Bridesmaid is still bridesmaid. Edit 2. Bridesmaid even did something super sweet for my puppy. My dummy son was extremely upset I ate all the chocolate chip cookies without offering him a bite, because I like him alive, and R2 played her so bad she dropped off a puppuccino for him this morning. So what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. It's concerning that a bridesmaid made such an insensitive comment, especially given the sensitive circumstances surrounding the friend's recent miscarriage and personal struggles. The situation could have been handled more sensitively by all parties involved. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. We post new Reddit stories every single day.